nationalized in late 2016 as a part of a cleanup of the banking system in the country. While Kolomiowski is also the owner of a TV channel which is called a One Plus One and it also aired a comedy show where Ukraine's actor turned president. Vladimir Zelensky starred as a president. Well, he's also known to have backed Zelensky's bid for the presidency in the country. Now, the recent allegation of money laundering is not a first move against him. His home was raided in February this year as a part of a separate investigation into embezzlement and also tax evasion. At the country's two largest oil companies named Ukranafta and Yuktat Nafta, which are both partially owned by this oligarch that we are talking about here. Meanwhile, in 2021, the United States also imposed sanctions on him in 2021, like I mentioned, alleging significant corruption charges. And during his time as the governor of the wider Dnipro Petrovsk region, where he denied any wrongdoing. Now, a major effort to root out corruption is sweeping Ukraine as of now. And here are some of them we listed out for you. Number one, former head of the state property fund, Dmitry Senchevko. This person here, he was charged with misappropriation of $13.5 million worth, dollars, uh, worth of state funds in the country. Former military commissioner of Odessa, Yevhen Borisov. He was accused of accepting bribes and purchasing luxury real estate and also expensive cars. He was dismissed from his post and arrested when these allegations surfaced. Meanwhile, the head of the country's Supreme Court was also detained by the Ukrainian law. We're talking about Vesvlod Kinasev. He's the head of Ukraine's Supreme Court and he was detained in a $2.7 million bribery inquiry. And the head of Donetsk recruitment office was arrested after he allegedly sent preferred subordinates to join a combat brigade in the Ukrainian armed forces. While the men never took part in combat missions, they however were fully paid. Now, fighting corruption has also become crucial to Ukraine's efforts to build an alliance with Europe as it seeks EU membership. In recent years, the Ukrainian government has implemented a number of reforms including the establishment of the National Anti-Corruption Bureau of Ukraine. Moreover, President Zelensky named victory over corruption as a cornerstone of his presidency in the 2019 polls and also implemented reforms prior to the Russian invasion as well. However, political experts say that his efforts have had mixed results in the country and controversy continues to surround Zelensky's approach to combat corruption in Ukraine. Poland's long-standing poor relations with its neighboring country Belarus continue to deteriorate, as Warsaw is now accused of breaching Belarusian airspace on Friday. However, Poland denies that any incursion has occurred. According to the Belarusian Border Service, an MI-24 helicopter crossed the national border at an extremely low altitude. The incident took place over the Godno region on the border, which stretches for roughly 400 kilometers. The military chopper reportedly flew up to 1,200 meters into the territory and then turned back. Now, the border forces published a video which is uh, purportedly showing a helicopter flying across the border. According to media reports, Belarus's foreign ministry summoned the Polish deputy ambassador and demanded an investigation. On the other hand, Poland denies that uh, any of its helicopters breached Belarus's airspace, calling the claims lies and provocation. This comes in the backdrop of the, Bel the planned military drill by the Belarusian forces near the border. The Polish Interior Ministry has termed the army exercise as a psychological warfare. The ministry also claims that Russian forces are also set to take part in the drills in some capacity. Relations between Minsk and Warsaw have been frozen for years. Their ties had hit new lows since Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko allowed Moscow to use his country to invade Ukraine. Moreover, EU members who share a border with Belarus, namely Latvia, Lithuania and Poland, have voiced their concerns about their border security 
due to the mercenary group Wagner's presence in Minsk. Earlier this week, Poland and the Baltic states urged Belarus to expel Wagner fighters from the country. However, Lukashenko dismissed their request. Well, corruption in Ukraine is a topic that is highly controversial and is now gaining steam in recent weeks. In the latest, powerful businessman Igor Kolimyoske is the latest domino to fall in a fraud and money laundering case in Ukraine. While this is not the first time that a case of corruption has surfaced. Misuse of funds have garnered firm response from the Ukrainian administration in the last few weeks. And to talk more on this, we have with us Lieutenant Colonel Glenn Grant, who is a former advisor to the Defense Minister of Ukraine and fellow at the Baltic Security Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us and beyond. And Lieutenant Colonel Glenn Grant is joining us live from Latvia. Thank you. Right. Now, Colonel, Ukraine is at a war with Russia. We've been reporting that for the past few months. Their resources, manpower, everything at stake here. And then there are reports like these which surface. This is also not the first time that corruption cases have surfaced in Ukraine. Talk to us as to why is corruption so systemic in Ukraine? Well, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sort of fo former Soviet Union thing. So when Ukraine came away from Russia, they had just the same amount of corruption and style of leadership where power, you get power to make money. Um, whereas in, in the West, you, you get money so that you can go into politics. So it's like the reverse way around. Mm. And, and the, the interesting thing with Kolomoisky is that Kolomoisky was, um, uh, was, was Zelensky's backer. And they've known each other a long time. And Zelensky has effectively been protecting him um, from his corrupt ways. But in 2020, the Americans actually uh, sanctioned Kolomoisky. So there is great suspicion now that this is, um, this is a, la a large amount of American pressure to actually to put, you know, to get Kolomoisky uh, under control because he's been doing a lot of money laundering. Um, but the interesting thing is that uh, it was the security services which are under control of the president's administration that arrested him, not the anti-corruption bureau, which is independent. And this tells people being arrested, whereas there are other people that are more senior and, and have been involved in corruption, uh, like the current defense minister, who are, who are pretty much being left alone. I mean, it's rumored that he's going to be moved. Uh, the, 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 but, but if he is moved, he'll be sent away as an ambassador somewhere. So this is not only about uh, not only about elections coming up, but it's also about control of the money flows. And you have to remember, this is a kleptocracy. Ukraine is a kleptocracy and has been so since 1991. So who controls the money flows is really, really significant and important. So you have to take a lot of the anti-corruption things, I'm sorry, but with a pinch of salt and a touch of cynicism. Right, Colonel, like you mentioned, there is lots happening on the anti-corruption front in Ukraine. There is a mood in the country that the government is combating corruption. Uh, what exactly is happening on ground? Well, one, one thing is that the, um, the regional military uh, offices, um, which do the recruitment, uh, they are, first of all, they, they, they are being checked by, again by the security services, not by the anti-corruption bureau. And a lot of the, the bosses there, the colonels, have been sacked because